Pistol P fight in the body, man. I miss the bros. Get that dry, we bouncing out. We about to hit the road. We get it gang soon as I see niggas. Head tap. Ran, ran off on the plug with a pound. Come get your bread back. Dang. Low cap, dissing on the guys and got, got his head snatched. Timberly, a fucking nigga body up. That's big, right? I know a op posting all his homies. That's a dead set. Five different murders in one month. They know we did that. She know I'm CCK, so she gonna suck me with no problem. Hit a nigga mocking when he fall. He died in silence. <laughs> Sip too much walk. I can't even feel my face. Ain't so hyped to walk down. They hit him with a drink. Ran off on the plug with a pound. Come get your bread back. Low cap, dissing on the guys and got, got his head snatched. Man. I'm sure almost all of you know who the drill rapper One Mir is and his involvement in the group CCK, formerly known as O to the Four, and you might have heard Mir or Lil Bucks mention the name Lil Lo or Lo before, and you probably wonder who Lil Lo is. Lo was a teenager who resided on the 63rd block of Nassau Road and on July 5th. Angela was sitting on his front steps of his apartment when shots started ringing. This is what 15-year-old boys should be up to on a summer weekend. According to his football coach at Frankfurt High School, this is Angela Walker. Sunday morning, the name of a bright and upcoming football player. But by Sunday night, one of 31 gunshot victims in one weekend in the city of Philadelphia. He always on a bike. He always say hi. He's a nice, he's very respectful. He is a good kid. He's a kid, period. Yeah, he's a kid, period. No kid deserved to die. Devastated, fed up neighbors who asked that we keep them anonymous recounted the flurry of gunfire on Nassau Road, just a short walk from this playground before 8.30 Sunday night. Police say two men in their 30s were also wounded. In total, police say seven people died in the holiday weekend shootings, including a six-year-old, a shooting they now believe was the result of negligence in a Holmesburg home. He didn't even live his life. He didn't have kids. His mom had to bury her son. Her son. No parents should never have to do that. It's very chilling what's been happening over the last few weeks. When asked what's next in an interview Monday, Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw said addressing the violence needs to be a continuous collaboration with local partners like the DA's office, two state and federal partners. But she says they have had challenges between the pandemic limiting how they can deploy resources safely and weeks of protests and rallies in the city. Despite Angelo's young age, he was a part of a gang that goes by the name 616 and 661. They usually hand around 61st and Jefferson or at the Monte Vista apartments. And they also hang around 66 and Lansdowne. And they're known to beef with the group O to the four now known as CCK. And Angelo was, was killed as a result of retaliation for a fallen O to the four member named Brobro who was killed back in 2018. A 17-year-old girl is dead and two other teenagers were injured after a gunman opened fire on a street in West Philadelphia. It happened late last night on the 300 block of North Simpson Street. Action News reporter Bob Brooks joins us live from police headquarters with details. Bob. Yeah, Walter, well, at this point in the investigation, police say they have no motive, no suspects. But I was out in the neighborhood where this happened. I spoke with a lot of people. They're absolutely devastated at the loss of this very young woman. Today, we saw quite a few hugs, and some brought gifts to the home of a grieving family. There's no doubt a cloud of sadness has come over the 300 block of North Simpson Street in West Philadelphia. Police confirm 17-year-old Sandrea Williams was gunned down here just before 1030 last night. Neighbors say this is one of her pictures she posted to Facebook. I can't think of what reason to kill a 17-year-old girl um, that hasn't even gone to her prom yet. Neighbor Tanya Wilson is one of many who knew the teen. She now shares in the sadness with others like Dorothy Williams. Williams says the teen comes from a good family. Her mother's a very hard working lady. That lady working two, four time jobs to pay her bills and take care of her kids. Throughout the day, police continue to drive by the scene. Neighbors say those patrols have served as a reminder of what was total chaos last night. They say it started with gunfire. It was so many bullet cases down here last night, y'all. I said, they said 22. And then someone started screaming William's name. I heard someone scream, Sandrea, 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 three times. Police say Williams and another 17-year-old male were walking home and that they had almost made it to the door when a gunman opened fire. And many neighbors say William's mother was waiting outside for her. I'm told her mother was sitting on the porch here. Police confirm Williams was shot in the neck and back. And she was pronounced dead at Penn Presbyterian Hospital. The teen she was with and a third victim, a 15-year-old male, were both shot in the leg. And as neighbors begin to mourn Williams' loss, they want the shooter to remember how important she was to them and her family. 
And that was a baby that lost her life last night. And somebody's child, that's somebody's child. And again, the victim, just 17 years old, Sandrea Williams, and police say if anyone out there has any information that can lead to an arrest, there's a $20,000 cash reward. And our reporting live at police headquarters, Bob Rudge, Channel 6. Action News, Walter. Okay, Bob, thank you for that report. Nadia Siblis was sitting on the front steps of her West Philadelphia house Friday night talking to an older brother when she heard gunshots. She ran inside her home on the 300 block of North Simpson Street, looked out a window, and saw someone lying on the 6,400 block of Carlton Street, Siblis went back outside. I hear someone saying, Sandria, get up. Siblis, 34, recalled Saturday afternoon. Only then did she realize the person lying in the street was her daughter. Sandria Williams, I said, Sandria, Sandria. She didn't reply. Police drove the young woman to Penn Presbyterian Medical Center, where she was pronounced dead a short time later. At 10.44 p.m., Sandria was one of three teens hit in a hail of at least 22 bullets discharged from two guns. A 17-year-old male friend was taken to Penn Presbyterian, a 15-year-old boy to Lankano Medical Center. Both were shot in a leg and were in stable condition. Lieutenant John Walker of Southwest Detectives said that police believed the three teens were innocent bystanders. Police believed two gunmen came from a driveway on Simpson Street and fired, then fled. It was not clear who the intended target was and what the motive for the shooting was, Walker said. A poor 17-year-old girl was shot and killed over stupid gunplay, he said. Although Sandria knew most owed to the four members and would hang out with them, she wasn't really a gang member and was just from the area, but unfortunately she was still killed, and members of 616 and 661 still. Disses her in their songs. They are also the ones taking responsibility for murder, Sandria. Bro, bro. Fun. We in the middle of the world, like where the fuck your gun? 80 shots to that wheel, this that Molly runs. It's brother tried to bend a nine and Brucey wet him up. I smoke west side from LMG, we gave him 20 plus. Told him by the bus, he got plucked, now go and pick him up. And we can talk about Tried to bend a nine and Brucey wet him up. I smoke west side from LMG, we gave him 20 plus. Told him by the bus, he got plucked, now go and pick him up. Gunfire rocked a quiet neighborhood in Philadelphia during the overnight hours. Nine people were shot, one has died. It all unfolded on a block that had just reported another deadly shooting two days earlier. It's Saturday night, I'm Walter Perez. The big story in Action News is a search for suspects following that mass shooting in the city's Parkside neighborhood. At least three of the victims are teenagers, one was killed. Action News reporter Brianna Smith joins us live outside police headquarters with details on the investigation. Brianna. Yeah, Walter, Philadelphia police are investigating not one, but two shootings that happened on North Creighton Street just two days apart. Those shootings left two men dead and eight people in the hospital. Philadelphia police crime tape and evidence markers covered North Creighton Street early Saturday morning for the second time this week. Emergency 911 received numerous calls about a shooting on the highway with numerous victims. Also, Numerous gunshots heard in the area. Police say many residents were at a block party when gunfire rang out just after 1.30 in the morning, injuring nine people. They say a 19-year-old man was shot several times and died at the hospital. Meanwhile, two 17-year-old girls, two 20-year-old women, two 21-year-old women, a 47-year-old man and a 51-year-old woman were shot and went to the hospital in stable condition. One neighbor says it's traumatizing when anyone loses their life to gun violence. People are connected to loved ones and loved ones have a right to have their children enjoy the community in which we live. We have parks in this community. They come in and cut the grass, but they don't cut the crime. This all comes after another murder on the same street on Thursday. Police say a 30 year old man was found shot to death in his doorway. Now neighbors wonder when local leaders will step up to stop the violence. They only come around when there's a parade or when there's election time. However, Mayor Jim Kenney said in a statement, quote, shootings are down by more than 20 percent compared to this time last year. But we know that we must continue to work together to stop violence and save lives. you got to act upon it. Talking is not going to do anything. 
Now, police did not say whether these two shootings are connected. They're still investigating the motives as well as searching for the suspects. Reporting outside police headquarters, Brianna Smith for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Walter. Okay, Brianna, thank you. Police have identified a 19-year-old man who was killed during a mass shooting at a West Philadelphia birthday party over the weekend. Philadelphia police said Monday that 19-year-old Kevin July, otherwise known as the rapper Westside Cap, who was a part of a local gang called LMG, which stands for Lomir Gang, or OVP, which stands for the Overbrook section of the city, that was killed in the shooting. Eight other people were injured in the shooting, police said. All eight are stable. The mass shooting happened shortly after 1.30 a.m., Saturday in the 500 block of North Creighton Street. Eight people were shot, including one person who died after a mass shooting at a birthday party in West Philadelphia early Saturday morning. The victims include seven women and two men, ranging in age from 17 to 51 years old. We were all standing on the porch. Next thing you know, we're hearing gunshots, said a 22-year-old witness. Everybody gets down, we're running in the house, jumping over people. Members of the gang nine seven. Let the saw her period. I don't know. Drop and I'm still spinning. It ain't shit to say. Fast forward a year from now and I'm probably rich today. And then I rewind. See don't recline. And think about why I be dissing and we sent away. Blow for birth, you know your birthday was just the other day I got you tatted, to make sure they see you, I look the other way Was supposed to hold down my rollie when I finally got that paddock To be honest, I can't see this shit Police officers responded to the 5,400 block of Ray Street to a deadly shooting in West Philadelphia The shooting happened on the 5,400 block of Ray Street just before noon on Thursday where they found William Johnson suffering from multiple gunshot wounds Police say a Johnson in his late 20s was shot multiple times in the neck and chest. He was taken to Presbyterian Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. When Bert died, he was attempting to slide on his ops but ended up getting spotted before he could shoot at anyone. Bert was Tour's right-hand man, so it hit Tour heavy when he died. Tour mentions him in almost all his songs, and he also has Bert tattooed on his neck. Hey, Bert was like the lock to my door and he no longer here. Remember he was growing his dreads, wishing that he was long here, wishing that he had longer hair. We put some niggas in the sky, but they no longer here. We want the best ones, Bert. Sometimes I wish I could rewind it back. Once we get that location, nigga, we making all kind of pack. First time I bought you out west, you ain't
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and comment if you want a part 2 or any other videos I should do.